Eh, ang katanungan ko po ay para sa PAGCOR, <clears throat> kasi nung nagbigay ng direktiba ang ating Pangulo na dapat wala ng legal o illegal na POGO, uh, naglabas din ng statement na maraming apektado dito. So from, uh, for, I would like to hear from the PAGCOR chairman, what steps has he taken uh, to continue with the transition of uh, eliminating all the POGO operations in the country and how many POGOs uh, will be affected? How many are actually registered POGOs? How many workers will be displaced? What can we do with those workers? And those that will be deported, uh, do we have a data on how many uh, those are? So maybe let's begin with uh, the transition. What are you doing now? What steps are you taking uh, to the PAGCOR chairman, please? Chair Tenko. Uh, good morning, Senator Paul. Good morning, Senator Pro, uh, Senator Pro Tempore Jingoy. Chairman uh, Senator Ontiveros and Chairman Senator Win Gachalian. Well, in answer to your question, um, nung lunis po nung gabi nung nag-uto sa SONA ang Pangulo, unfortunately, hindi po kami nakapag-coordinate kaagad with the respective government agencies because of the the calamity or the typhoon that happened. But uh, I wish to report to you that starting tomorrow, we already have meetings with the different government agencies. So we're starting with DOLE. Uh, Secretary Benny Laguesma and I are having lunch tomorrow. And uh, we will be discussing the um, status of the close to 40,000 who will be displaced. And um, on Thursday, I just got word uh, prior to the hearing that uh, Secretary Boeing Rimulia is calling for a meeting uh, together with PAGCOR, the PAOC, the F, the Bureau of Immigration, and the Department of Justice. So we could also start uh, uh, formulating guidelines as to how we will deal with the um, winding up of the operations of all. Uh, um, uh, actually, IGLs na po yun eh. So there are 44 right now because the mandate of the president is very clear. Um, we, PAGCOR is being mandated to wind down the operations. So in reference to even those that are those who have the licenses we had reissued. No? And I'm referring to the IGLs. There, there is much confusion and I believe um, a lot of uh, uh, news reports that are false. Um, the, the mandate of the president during the SONA is very clear. Uh, it was read by Sec Senator Gachalian earlier, uh, ordering PAGCOR to already wind down the operations of all. And uh, PAGCOR cannot wind down the operations of all the illegals because they, they're not under our jurisdiction, primarily because they do not have licenses anymore. Yun naman pong IGL, na ipaliwanag ko na po ng ilang pagkakataon yan sa, hindi lang po dito sa Senado, kundi sa Kongreso din. Uh, we, we reissued the licenses to 44 that are left out of the 298 issued in the last administration. So, yung 44 po, yun na lang yung natirang uh, nabigyan ng internet gaming licenses. But uh, that is covered by the order of the President. Because maliwanag po eh, wind down all the, you know, so nag na po yung proseso and uh, with regard to your question as to how many, there are 44 as of this very moment. Uh, we have not issued any licenses in the last few months, any new ones. So uh, yung pong uh, tinatanong nyo kung ilan, 44 po, at ang kasama po dito ay, uh, sila lang po yung may lihito mong lisensya sa pangkasalukuyan. As I understand, syempre hindi naman ninyo uh, kasama yung mga illegal dahil hindi man nakarehistro sa inyo yon. Pero I'm glad to hear that you are actually very supportive now of this directive by the President. I would just like to make sure that um, baka naman kasi mag-rebrand ang Pogo eh. Uh, baka biglang magkaroon ng special class of BPOs such as that. So anything that will have to go through PAGCOR, I would just like to make sure, bawal na yung mga licenses for that. Uh, kung ano pa man ang pangalan nila, 
Number two, ang daming mga infrastructure ng POGOs. Uh, illegal infrastructures, uh, because we, we found those that have not, are not really registered, maybe the government can decide what we can do with that. Baka mami, housing na yan para sa ating mga kababayan. I mean, after we pay the proper uh, fees for that, uh, to, to be able to take over those places legally, I think it can be converted to help our countrymen. Uh, but definitely, I, I, I am in support of a possible bill in the Senate that we should file to ban any sort of uh, pogos or anything that has related to uh, gambling online. So that will be uh, my, my only question for, for PAGCOR and maybe later on again uh, for other agencies. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you rin, uh, Sen Grace. And salamat din sa actually maganda at baka nasisimula ng ideya ninyo na yung mga ibang vacated infrastructure ng mga POGO na, pinapa, na binan na nga at pinapawind down ni Presidente ay maaring uh, mapakinabangan ng ating mga kababayan sa pamamagitan ng gobyerno. I'm referring uh, to a first step in that spirit dun sa isang probisyon ng bago nating ipinasang uh, AFASA law, yung anti-financial scam law, na may probisyon po dun at sa Salamat muli kay Chair Mark na tinanggap nila yung uh, proposed amendment ng representasyong ito na assets uh, seized in raids in which uh, victim survivors of human trafficking were rescued ay maaring gamitin ng mga department at o ahensya ng gobyerno para uh, i-rehabilitate. Yes, itong mga victim survivors. So marami salamat sa ideya nyo para sa posibleng mas malawak na sakop ng mga infrastructure ng mga pogo.